is there so much blood? What the f Somewhere in the forest is a tomb. Maybe a flower bed and a grove full of old trees. Like the ones in storybooks. Fairies darting in and out of knot holes. So real quick, I'll be completely honest, this is the second time I started it, because I wanted to double check the sound, so I got like, n not even five minutes into the game, um, but there wasn't blood before when I hit new game. I think like the baby's head fell off, I'll try and put like a clip in, but yeah, that's new. The blood's new. Get your head out of the clouds. I'm not here for that. And this isn't some storybook. Fairies, they aren't real. It's like what Mom always said. Are there actually going to be fairies in this game? But like... And dreams. The really like... Hey, don't talk to these fairies kind of fairies. And not like the Tinkerbell fairies, because that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if that makes much sense. But like the older school, like myth, like old school fairies. Huh, the door's open. Maybe the whole thing got cancelled. That'd be nice. I'd have the, I'll have the whole place to myself. All the mysterious adventures I can get into. Alone. In an abandoned convent. Oh. No. No parents. No adults. Just me. Is that... Singing? Oh, that must be them. Okay. Well, so much for that fantasy. This is gonna suck. This is a horror game. He's <laughs> coming from further in. Hello. Hello. Oh, I probably shouldn't disturb them. The convent's abandoned. Who is she waiting for in an abandoned convent? And why is she so not surprised to see strangers in an abandoned convent? Heard that some nuns must some nuns spend their entire lives singing prayers. Prayers for God, prayers for the world. For the sinners. They seem to hit a good chord. Good cause. Our orders, sacred mission, and all that. <laughs> she is slower your oh <laughs> Where the hell did she come from? Okay, just chill out, Holly. It's just a nun. Her hair's not her head's not covered. Don't they normally cover their hair? You're talking to yourself. I thought nuns cover their hair. So I'm immediately suspicious of the sneaky nun. So... Yeah. Was I? I didn't notice. <laughs> it's alright. I do that too. Why does the text- why did the text do that? This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. Um, yeah. Though I gotta say, this place, it's bigger than I expected. It's Why are we here? I used to get lost all the time. But I still do, to be honest. <laughs> and here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? I don't trust the sneaky um, nun. Just for the recollection? 
you're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway, third room to the left. Probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. I'm confused. She said that the convent was meant to be ab abandoned. So why is she expecting there to be a nun there? If there's nuns working there, wouldn't it not be abandoned? Unless this is like part of the whole thing and they're all dead. Which, I mean, yeah. I'm kind of A-OK -okay with. Um, also, not at all OK with that, though. I see. Uh, thank you very much. And, um, sorry again for disturbing you. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> OK. <sighs> We're getting younger every year. What do you mean by that? It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Um. Sure. Thank you. I feel like I need to, like, do some research. Because maybe I just don't know enough <laughs> about convents. Because I'm not a religious person. In fact, I'm 15. I'm not that young. Um. I, I, I don't... I'm not a religious person at all. I don't know a lot about, at least, the Christian... I, I don't know a lot about Christianity um, and how all that stuff works. I know a lot of, like, I know the practices, but I don't... Well, I know the beliefs, but I don't know, you know, this formal kind of stuff. Um, maybe convents aren't actually... I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know how convents work. Maybe that was just a, maybe that stupid little scream I made. <laughs> uh, nice job, Holly. Looking f real composed back there. Oh god, there are so many sneakers. Is this the place? Huh? You look dead. Well, looks like someone's been trying to put it back together piece by piece. Must have taken a lot of work. Is that a skull? Though still doesn't look right. Careful, plaster's still fresh on that one. Just one touch can bend the whole thing out of shape. <laughs> you look dead. Our most venerable founder was particularly fond of this one. Saint Rita of Cassia. Are you familiar? Like the only time I've ever met someone that was that pale and looked that green they were about to pass out and puke on a bunch of people um on stage so i'm really not feeling super great about this woman born 1381 died 1457 patron saint of loss and impossible causes loss and impossible causes that's going to be important um yes a bit why are we here? At the age of 12, she married into an abusive family. Regrettably, her two sons grew up to take after their father. Violent, vengeful. So, she prayed to God to save their souls. And so, God answered. They died of disease soon after. Very benevolent. A harsh lesson, but an important one to take to heart. God works in mysterious ways. Even death can sometimes be a mercy. I... I see. Do not all nuns cover their hair? <laughs> but enough of that. You've yet to introduce yourself. Maybe that's the thing. Now, you haven't introduced yourself either, and you've spoken more than I have. Uh, oh, hello there. Holly Beltran. Oh, yes, Miss Holly. I've been expecting you, though I don't recall receiving you. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I knocked, but no one came. And so you chose to trespass instead? What? No, I didn't mean to. I was just... 
Give whatever name you want for your sin, Miss Holly. It is still a sin, nonetheless. <coughs> your bag. Kindly lay them down. My bag? Oh, you'd be surprised the things that we find. Cigarettes, contraceptives, pornography. Can you imagine bringing such things into the house of God? Stealth. Yeah, so this convent is very much not abandoned, but my characters seem to expect that. And it does look abandoned. I should have covered it. Covered what? Or at least, at least kept it in a hidden pocket. Not that my bag has any. Hmm, well, what do we have here? I knew it. Why did I even bring that stupid thing? Carly Taylor. Sorceress of Witchwood. Uh, that's just something I'm reading. Oh, yes. Well, it is always good to read. I myself simply love books. Books can enrich. They can teach. But when observing a work, never forget to take spirituality into account. Especially when it comes to material written for young, impressionable minds. Ma'am, all due respect, I still don't believe that you're less than 200 years old, so anyone is going to be young to you. And there it was, cradled just beneath the canopy of elder trees, candlelight pouring from the notched window, and the sound of laughter echoing from within. This was her new home. It was here that she would learn magic. Magic. Such an innocent sounding word. But, dear child, there are no graves when it comes to witchcraft. All of it, black as sin. A proper child of God would know this. All right, calm down. You can do this. You've always been good at this. Tell her what she wants to hear or play dumb. It works all the time. I'll just tell her what she wants to hear. You're absolutely right. Jean, I noticed something was off as soon as I started reading it. Until you catch it. Stubbornness on my part. I spent a good chunk of my allowance on it. But even so, I really should be more mindful when it comes. I realize I'm not making a very good first impression. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I guess I've been so excited that I've just been all over the place lately. Moving forward, I'll try my best to improve. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, improvement. There you go. That is one thing that we, the sisters of Saint Idolora, hold very dear. For Saint Rita's children, death was their only salvation. But for those willing to fix themselves, well, 
you'll find that this convent is the perfect place for spiritual rebirth. Here, you can be anyone you want to be. Anyone I want to be. Yes, I understand. That... that sounds great. <laughs> well, now that we've settled that, let's start things off the right way. Yeah, introduce yourself. You got on me about not introducing myself, and you... give me a lecture before you even introduced yourself. I am Sister Adira, and I will be in charge of your spiritual formation for the next few weeks. Well, Sister Adira, I have very little respect for you at this point. It's very nice to meet you, Sister Adira. Personally. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And as for your book, I think it's best that I keep it. I don't like how you said that. But she can't just take it. Yeah. Wait, please. I... Yes? Yes, she can. Of course she can. There's no use arguing. Better just let the whole thing go. <laughs> it's just me, Miss Aww, Emily. I'm so upset. Hmm. Miss Holly, I take it you're an avid reader? Yes, ma'am. Then that also means you enjoy writing, yes? Yes, I guess. At least I didn't bring any of my fanfics. Oh god, this woman would probably have a freaking aneurysm. She'd have a field day with those, yeah. Oh, wait here for just a moment. This should suit you just fine. Prayer journal for teens. Pray with style. There's prayers at the end of every page. A journal. Time has a funny way of muddling memory. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It helps to have an anchor. That way you can always look back and see the old with new, fresh eyes. So there is going to be some weird time shenanigans going on. This next week will be integral to your spiritual formation. It would be better, as we've discussed, not all stories are worth reading. But if you keep your heart open, there's definitely a story for you here. A story of your own personal journey with God. How delightful. Can I trust you to do that? Yes, ma'am, and thank you. Sister Adira. Please call me Sister Adira. For our time together, I'd like to think of us as family. Family. Like I needed more of that. Now, come this way. I'll show you to your room. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Sister Adira. <laughs> Still very confused as to the overall premise of this. Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Witchwood. Notes all over the margins. Letter on the first page, pink ink, strawberry scent. Limited edition cover, signed. And I'm never seeing it again. Oh, okay. God damn it. <laughs> You're like in a convent, ma'am. Uh, maybe don't curse. It's fine, Holly. Relax. This is for the best. You're not here for that. You're here to be better. There's statues watching everyone in every single room. I hate the sound of a creaking door. It's so unsettling. Oh, Gabriella. This is Holly. She will also be joining us for the recollection. Hey there. Just call me Gabby. This convent is not abandoned at all. This is like a legitimate running business. Gabriella is your God-given name. It's a name you were born with, and I happen to think it's quite lovely. Be proud of it. Abbreviations tend to only confuse. Or is, like, Gabriella 
not actually a person because her eyes are purple. Right. But something tells me it's not going to mean much. And I hope it's me you take to heart. We do, after all, have rules here, Miss Gabriella. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy. We're all, well, we're off to a good start. Okay, just do what you do best, Molly. Holly. You know the drill. Hey, I just wanted to say that I'm very excited to spend the week with you guys. I thought it was weeks. Didn't she say weeks? I'm so confused. Gabriella, I can already tell that we're going to be great friends. Yeah, sure. And Sister Adira, I'm already looking forward to all the great lessons you'll be teaching us. Rest assured, you are in capable hands. Wonderful. So, um, are we the first ones to arrive? Sister said I was worried I might have been late. Wait, or there's one other, like, the only thing I could think that would actually make sense would be if these nuns all decided to go to a random abandoned convent and invite teenagers there. How Which is now? weird. Holly, we are complete. The recollection will start first thing in... Where's the recollection? Wait, seriously? There's only two of us. Yes. Sadly, as of late, attendance has been quite low. Attendance is low. Is this, like, essentially kind of like an heir and a spare kind of situation where, like, you want one person as, like, some kind of sacrifice and then you have a backup just in case that person decides to, like, bounce? There she goes again. Is she for real? Like, real subtle girl. You know the answer, Gabriella. Distractions. So many distractions we're letting into our lives. And even in these trying times, we still take for granted God's loving grace. You two, however, are very fortunate that your parents were responsible enough to take an active role in your formation. Yeah. Sister Adira, I believe these two weeks will be an enlightening experience for all of us. Okay, I'm assuming it was a typo, and that we're actually supposed to be here for an extended period of time. More than just a week. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, child. Recollections like these are a very special opportunity, and I hope that both of you will be wise enough to seize it. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. <laughs> Jesus, say that a bit louder, why don't you? I will give you the rest of the day to settle in. We shall start first thing tomorrow. But until then, I urge you both to take in the silence this place has to offer. Reflect. I mean, I don't think you'd very much like the things that I would pray for. Because 90% of it would involve you returning back to your natural state, which would probably be stone, based on all the statues. She sure is something. But maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. Like it or not, we're roommates now. I should probably say something to her. Though it doesn't look like we have much in common. What's up? You're... Scaring. Oh, sorry. I, I was just wondering. Okay, Holly. Here goes. Here goes. Just play it cool. <laughs> so, um, those are some cute bracelets you got there. Look, let's just cut to the chase. What are you here for exactly? Whoa, hold up there. Why is this sounding like prison talk? Excuse me? Probably because this is an alternative to prison for her. She sounds 
American? It's not exactly a time for my vacation. Yeah. Didn't you talk him up in the mountains? Prayer sessions every other hour. Bible reading. Character building lectures. Pretty sure they even have a few chances for him. You don't really go here anymore. So, you're one of those people. Oh, I see. Well, I might not like it here, but I needed this. Time away from home, away from my parents. They worry. I mean, of course they worry. After everything that's happened. I mean, it's true. I mean, true, it's not exactly my idea of fun. But once this is all done, I can come back to my mom with a big smile on my face. Tell her that I'm better. Tell her that everything's okay. I'll go back to being the perfect little angel she expects me to be. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, hello? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, I... Never mind, it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. No, no. You see, um... I mean, it seems like Holly is there because she's running from something, and it seems like Gabrielle is there because she has to be. There's, like, not really a legitimate alternative. It's not something I want to talk about. I should probably say that. But does that come off as rude? Yeah, just tell her the fucking truth, dude. No, that's stupid. Where would I even begin? Um, I don't know. Just say some random phrase and then YOLO it from there. I should probably just make something up. I see. Well, in that case... Oh, might be. Wait, what? Let me spell it out for you. I don't want to be you. If you're thinking that by the end of this, we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and, I don't know, having Bible study sessions together or whatever. <sighs> you're mistaken. Oh. All right. Glad we got that out of the way. I feel like I'd get along with Gabriella. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I've got stuff to unpack. Although I inherently disagree with the idea of unpacking in a place like this like actually this room doesn't have any cobwebs which is nice the last one did the hell is her deal i'm just trying to make things work so i guess this is my bed for the next few days i should start unpacking too not the nicest looking place not the nicest looking place but maybe if i fix it up a bit there we go, looking better already. A little corner to call my own. It's been a while since I've shared a room with someone. It's been even longer since I've slept in a room that wasn't my own. It all feels so familiar. Hmm. Maybe a bit too familiar. Yeah, I think that's better for now. Hmm, what else do I have here? A story of my own, huh? Hopes and wishes. I really wish I had my book. I mean, just start writing your own story, dude. It would be nice, getting lost in the pages. Uh, the turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get the mysterious world of Witchwood. Get to the mysterious world of Witchwood. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just what am I doing? I'm in a recollect recollection, for God's sake. Is that, like, actually a thing? Now's not the time to indulge in these distractions. I'm s Oh, you ripped the page. Okay. To my dearest Heavenly Father, Well, here I am. I wonder what we'll be up to tomorrow. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be with me every step of the way. We started off a bit rough, but I'm optimistic for the wonderful journey ahead. Amen. Achievement unlocked. Yay. Oh. Uh, why does that sound like hey, a body falling? Holly. Not my problem. <laughs> I can fix that. Behold my special move! 
Hey, rude. Are they twins? I think so. The book. Want to see it? Oh wow! I don't remember Mom buying this. Who didn't? No one lent it to me. Pretty cool, huh? See? Very tiny, strong and brave. Just like someone else I know. Huh? Did you really think so? Nah. Just trying to get on your good side. Here's the coolest part. She's... she helped us? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You know how Mom gets... Remember what happened when you brought home that toy devil? Dragon? It was a dragon. It's not my fault Mom wasn't listening. And she's still not going to listen if she finds something like this. Look, Sam. You need to stop getting yourself in trouble. Look. Don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. I'm gonna say, like, honey, once you're labeled as that child, like, you're not getting out of that box. Like, it, it, it's a done deal. But she might as well just, like, live her life and do things that she enjoys. That Given that I'm assuming she's dead at this point. And that well, this is the, like, her death that. is the reason why we're in the convent. <laughs> You don't want to... No. Okay. Sure. You can have it. But only because the cover looks cool. Mom will be good. <laughs> now here we go. The whispering in your forest. I'll try to get some muddy brow. As brown and muddy as the ground. Around St. Mary's Orphanage. It's spicy. Kylie was determined to give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Oh, Farley has a sister? I is that her picture? I like her. She's mine. I'm doing her voice. You don't even know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling. Is the mama demon in her, like, herself? Her eyes changed. Her eyes used to be blue. Or not, not blue, sorry, they were green. What the fuck? Can't move. Oh no. Can't move. It's okay. <laughs> This is fine. I'm just stuck in between sleeping and waking up in a place. Oh, that's a, those are statues. Just breathe, Holly. Breathe. Oh, no. That sound. Relax. It's just singing. Just prayers. Sounds kind of nice, right? Like a lullaby. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep, Holly. Just relax. We're just hearing things. Are we? Are we though? <laughs> Bitch, were you in my room when I was asleep? We need to have some. We need to talk about some boundaries. There it is, the first rays of morning light. Breathe deep. Take it in. Another day, another brilliant gift from God. Is that? Is she holding a hammer? Because for a moment I thought it was a gun. I hate that the first thought that came to my mind was a gun. Another opportunity opportunity to serve. Hmm. Quite pleased with it, though it still wouldn't be enough for her. For who? Cracks still need to be filled. 
blemishes need to be sanded, and of course a new coat of paint. But for now, well, there are more important matters and must not be distracted. O oh, dearest Heavenly Father, you visited me in your dreams. You visited me in your dreams last night. Don't worry, I remember. Wait, you were in God's dreams? Or is that another typo? In my hands, you put a chisel. In the other, the Holy Bible. Their use perfectly clear. Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on these sacred grounds. It has been a while. I am a bit nervous. I only ask that you give me the strength, the strength to be a worthy mentor to the, in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. And may your hands guide mine as I form these young girls to be women, to be the women you want them to be. Amen. Let's get ready. We've got a busy day ahead of us after all. After all. Nothing. It's about 30 minutes. Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be late now, would we? Yeah. Sure. I'm so surprised she's so okay with this. Because she's like, oh yeah, it's between dreaming and waking. But I don't, like, I know you, I know people tend to hallucinate figures. That's, like, that state between, like, dreaming and waking is when you tend to have, um... Not night terrors. What the fuck is the word? My fucking god, let me look this up. Okay, so I was thinking sleep paralysis because a lot of people when they experience sleep, like she's talking about sleep paralysis and a lot of people when they have sleep paralysis, they also see figures. Like I've, I've heard one person talk about like seeing, uh, like feeling, or seeing a figure like sitting on their chest. Like I know when I was younger, I would see like things crawling on the floor, stuff like that. But apparently there's a technical term for it. Hypnopompic hallucinations. Uh, occur while a person is waking up and hypnagogic hallucinations occur while falling asleep and they're usually visual um she's just i mean she's i don't i don't know how often she gets them but she was pretty chill about everything you know no white walls no flower curtains no mom, no Leanna. If you're not home, get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. You got this. Remember, no distractions. You, bitch, you already had the worst kind of distraction as you were waking up. Lovely morning, Sister Adira. Hmm. Why, yes. A lovely morning indeed. If you were here just a bit earlier, you would have caught the sun shining right through that window. My god, you negative Nelly, Jesus. Amazing, the little things you notice when you take the time to stop and listen. And that's why we're here, isn't it? This woman is like damn near toxic. And I'm not just saying that because she looks like she should be one of the statues that seems to be like everywhere in this place i legitimately think that woman is dead 
Like, I will pay, I, I will bet money that that woman is dead. Ahem. Or a demon. I'm betting dead, though. Fifty years ago, our founder, Saint Idolora, built this convent in order to train young girls such as yourselves to be proper ladies. Ladies worthy of becoming saints. 50 years ago, huh? Because I thought this place was abandoned. So you guys are either really not good at business or just things aren't adding up. And wait. No, that timing doesn't make any sense. Because didn't they- they gave a time period and it was like a hundreds of years ago. I mean, I don't really know the, the time period that this is made in, but I'm assuming it's at least the 90s. Like, yeah, she's old. Maybe she's not dead, but she's old as hell. Because she thinks that this place was built 50 years ago and this is supposed to be an abandoned convent. And she's saying the founder was the one that built it, or was, yeah. Um, it, th this isn't making any, any During sense. During her time, the most beautiful flowers bloomed all over the convent. Oh, and the statues, with her still hand, in the right light, they yeah. were so real. So the statues in certain lights, I'm guessing, are going to come alive. Which is honestly my worst nightmare. I am ter like I, I hate mannequins. I'm not terrified of them. But I hate them. And I actually will avoid stores that have a lot of mannequins. <laughs> or at least have mannequins with faces. Um and they're making the man or they're making the statues for her. So they've definitely been here a long time. Because like even just in that one room where they show the three beds, there's like six. So yeah, there's definitely some time shenanigans already happening. This woman is probably like three, four hundred years old, I think. So I think they said like thirteen or fourteen hundreds, or thirteen or fourteenth century, something like that. Lovely little angels. Lovely little angels. Mom would call me that all the time. Would call us that all the time. In front of her friends. In the coming days, I'd like you to think of me as a mother. That's an interesting addition. In front of her friends was like an add-on. So oh, so she thought that... Special. You may come with me. So she thought... Okay, so she was, she was calling her kids angels in front of her friends, but because the in front of her friends was an add-on, I'm guessing... That's not what she was actually telling her children. Yeah, I'll consider it. So the mother's definitely abusive. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. It's a very kind gesture. Now, before we start, here's a quick schedule of the recollection. Huh? Opening remarks, Adira, 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 Adira. Okay, so everything's just Adira. Yeah, she's probably the only fucking bitch in this place because she's like 400 years old. Oh. Sorry, I probably should not be calling a nun a bitch. Um, my B. Yes? Any questions? Nun! This all looks really exciting! It is. Most of your time will consist of silent recollection and prayer sessions. But, as I've said before, aside from reflection, we shall also task you with what type of action are you talking about? Like a hammer to glass. Whew. Simple tasks. Cooking, cleaning. For this convent doesn't maintain itself, you know. And I expect you to attend to it with the utmost care. This is a holy place, after all. Is it, though? Newly inducted nuns have done similar things in the past. 
if any of you find yourself hearing the call, well, think of this as a great training opportunity. No promises. You could have just nodded your head. I mean, it's more fun to, like, actually speak out and just watch someone's reaction to you actually verbalizing your thoughts. Especially when they say something that's absolutely insane. I expect none. But you may be surprised. The call finds out the strangest of times. Which, what call? Of places. What call? Okay. You know now, what? to start off, let's have a bit of an exercise now, shall we? I'd like to show you something. She doesn't have a face. There's no second guessing, no desperate search for her place in the world. This is a lot. To know that she is exactly where God wants her to be. See, this is what it feels like sometimes at work. Like where I, I work as a CNA, and I've worked as a CNA for a few years now. And some facilities, this is what it feels like. They're like people like they this is how they view you like they only care about having bodies there they don't care about your face they don't care about you as a person they only care about a body being there and this is kind of how she's speaking however sadly this is not always the case The world is moving so fast these days. People coming up with all sorts of answers to their problems. So many opportunities are now open to bright young women such as yourselves. You can be anything. Scientists, lawyers, business women, physicians, even artists. And they're all wrapped up so nicely in narratives of fulfillment and prestige. And at times they can sound so appealing. But to us women, we should not let ourselves get distracted from what's really God and family. Molly, please come over here. you to write down all the things that might be stopping you from being a proper child of God. That's, she's, didn't she, she's like 16? That's like a lot of pressure to put on a 16 year old, you know? 